dam, the aprakat dam, golok dam. He has descended down here and brought that very same dam. And uh, he has come along with all of his associates. Then in the next line, Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Jiva Jiva Daya Kari, Swapar Shada Suya Dhamma Sa Avatari. Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself and he has descended in the age of Kali, richly endowed with the sentiments and complexion of Shimati Radhika. And in this verse, Bhakti Notakura has said that Mahaprabhu has descended to show mercy upon the Jivas and he showed this mercy by appearing in this world accompanied by his associates and his Biggest king in Paris. Yeah, we have 
we are doing engaging or everything but we don't know that we have have to give up everything and even this body will be given krishna was playing there but he had he had also forgotten everything playing with radhika and lalita vishaka or with her mother forgotten everything that is this this is called mukta and at the same time he is all knowing and why he any one any where he is unhappy he will know so he knew by this thing that we the part and parcel and uh, they are servant eternal servant of now we have forgotten and we are thinking and joking merry and taking flesh blood and everything and always wasting our time and unhappy for life and lack for she knew from there and mercifully he left his that about eternal place taking when anyone is quarreling and if mm, he will know he will send his uh, yes. police and he will give to eh one money for beating him and take <coughs> he will take in jail and thus they will be but this mahaprabhu how merciful that he kept up his that very little about and took his own association and he descended to this world why because he is so merciful and parlo and not he alone he came when gaja and grav were quarreling fighting each other you know gaja gra elephant and crocodile mm-hmm. and when elephant was calling krishna he came alone but chaitanya mahaprabhu no calling they were calling only and they were very um, nonsense like and they were not calling chaitanya mahaprabhu but how he is merciful merciful that he gave up his abode all his playing everything and he came with all why to come he came why he came that he will take them from this planet to planet and they should not quarrel and they should be with me taking always drinking always nectar of love and affection and never there should you have any birth and days and suffering and so so how he is merciful even a very, uh, very ordinary rich person cannot do he cannot come if any person is quarreling themselves and they have like uh, um, lying on the road that person has nothing to come he will not come he will not do anything but this chaitanya mahaprabhu being the supreme personality of god he not like only krishna but combined radha and krishna the chaitanya mahaprabhu is most merciful so he came with all his associate why he came why he came hmm? he know that they have no love and affection at all anything they are zero they have no knowledge of krishna or myself nothing they don't know bhakti prema bhakti what is pali golok bandaban can never know anything hmm? so he is telling that how merciful that giving that very pleasant about playing there everything and he took all his association and came down on earth why for us hmm? why i came here can you repay me something pay anything If you are paying, what I will do? Nothing. 
Krishna has sent mercifully, like he sent Swamiji. Hmm? So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knew that these persons are even, they have nothing, they have no prem, no thing, but they are my eternal servant. I must be merciful to them. So I should begin, I should give them a spankle part. The prem which has cannot be attained by Brahma and Shankar, even they cannot. I have come to give this, but I should begin from where? Primary school. He was the huh? Shikshar. He was the teacher of what is school? Mahabhav. That is school. But he came down where? Primary is A, B, C, D. What is A, B, C, D? Sikha is Saranagati. Bhagatir, Bhagatir Prana, Bhagatir Prana. Bhagatir Prana. Beginning from Saranagati. If a principle of MA PhD college, university will come, he cannot uh, teach A, B, C, D. Hmm. Oh, you should go to primary school. And if anyone will uh, trash upon him, then he will think that they are uh, minimizing me. Hmm. He will not do this. But mercifully Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, hmm. and he came and he sikhaya saranagati bhagatera pran. The life and soul of new devotee. What is that? Pran. Pran means? Life. Why he is telling? It is not life and soul. But he is telling that if he cannot enter in bhakti realm, he cannot do anything. So first he should enter in the realm of bhakti. And for this, these are especially so much needed. Saranagati. What are that Saranagatis? What? No, he has written. Uh, what? Then, no? Self-dedication, Gopite Bharan, accepting Krishna as one's only maintainer and guardian, Abhasya Rakive Krishna, Vishvasya Kalan. This is a translation of Sanskrit written by Rupa Goswami. Anukulyasa sankalpa prati kulyasya vivarjanam rakshasya titi tibhiswaso goptitve varanam jatha atta nikshe karpannam sarvida saranagati. So why he is writing like so? The kram, the system, systematic? Why? Because he is translating in Bangla. Translating in Bengali, Bangla language, that is why he is doing it. In poem. But the idea is the same. First should be what? Anukulyasya Sankalpa. What is this? To accept what is favorable. For? To accept what is favorable for? For? Huh? For devotional service. Hmm. To please Krishna. This is bhakti. So what is helpful for bhakti? Doing service of Krishna. The service of, in pleasing of Krishna. Only we should draw. But we don't know. Do you know? What is favorable to Krishna and his bhakti? An ignorant person does not know. And he cannot realize this thing. So, what Krishna wants, and he realized and advanced Uttama Adhikari can know that what Krishna knows. So, first he should go to his uh, Pratinidhi, representative. representative. Who is he? If anyone has no guru there, oh, it is very hard. 
then you should do sukriti and come to vaisnav and hear something and then be initiated with guru dev and serve him then you become other vaisnav so it has been told adau shraddha tata sadhu sanga tata bhajana kriya tato anartha nivritti nitanand prabhu haridas thakur and all others oh go to that door even they will beat you even they will uh, insult you even they will do anything nonsense to you tolerate and make make their sukriti they have no past but in impression so this from beginning you should do and then try to bring them in vaisnav association like adatta chajwal has a school shrinivas acharya was there and so in navdeep all his parikars at that time sarup dam mudar was there like a boy friend of chaitanya mahaprabhu also gadadhar uh, pandit gadadhar pandit जगदानंद ऑल दे आर बॉय फ्रेंड स्टडिंग इन सेम स्कूल बट दे आर परिकर एसोसिएट्स ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रु एंड टू डू सम इम्प्रेशन टू ब्रिंग दैम इन एसोसिएशन ऑफ वैष्णवाग and they from beginning like a very ordinary boys reading in his school and they were teaching all these things at that time it was very hard for any man to preach bhakti a town like navadvi all premins and they were all against bhakti serving durga kali and drinking wine and doing so many things very hard if you will do bhakti chant and put tilak they used to laugh and do so many things so his associates came in various way in various jati jati means cause schedule cost lem home then and everywhere like haridas thakur like advaita charge in brahmin family some in other families low cost and from there they began to preach sharanagati hmm? to worship tulasi hmm? to chant name to read gita to know gita the mood of gita hmm? so sharanagati first is who is helping Uh, who is helpful for bhakti eh? we should adopt hmm? so from beginners he began to teach with his associates second is so what is helpful for what krishna want how he will be pleased not that sarnagati how his associates like guru will be happy and do according to him and then you should hear what are favorable for krishna then you should do like that otherwise you cannot know so first we should try to adopt sharanagati and first anukulya sankalpa what is the meaning of sankalpa or guru has told me that these are favorable for bhakti now i am taking a vow that i will always try to fulfill this anything a water 
I will give it to first with the tulsi to Krishna and then I will drink. If I am taking anything, then it is like a stool or it meat or anything. Hmm? But if it is offered to Krishna with tulsi, then it will be some help for us. Hmm? So in this way, what is helpful in our bhakti? beginning from Vaishnavas and Gurudev. And then they will tell us to take the help, helpful things. And then Pratukullasyam Vivarjanam. Bibarjan, and what is? Antavaradu. We should try it. You know, Jaiva Dharma, uh, Vijay Kumar, uh, he was very first class scholar in Srimad Bhagavatam. And he used to give classes for Bhagavatam, seven days Bhagavatam. And he used to earn something, money from that. And that, from that money he used to maintain his family, whole family. Hmm? Mother, father, brothers and all others. But when he went to Puri, and he was associating with Babaji, no, Gopal Guru. He saw that, uh, oh, I'm doing but, no? wrong. wrong. It is offensive. So I should not take any money and I should not explain Rasatattva in ordinary persons. Hmm? And then he left this job. He promised that I can maintain my family by other means, but not by selling Srimad Bhagavatam. This was like a sale. So, this is favorable. How he is. And he never did like so, as he used to do. We should now think that what we are doing, is it favorable for bhakti or not? Or our maintaining of family is all thing. Understand? We are whatever we are doing for maintaining family. But maintaining family, we are doing so many bad things which are against bhakti. So if you want to bhakti, then you should stop that once. But try to adopt only which are favorable for bhakti and not favorable for bhakti. You should give up. You should take a sankalpa. Oh. And don't do. He told that he then asked, I have done wrong previously. So what should I do? Oh, only you should stop that thing. And be repentance. Have, repent for this that you have done wrong. And chant Harinam. This will do. But don't do. Repeat all these things. Then third is Rakshatta Titi Iti Vishwasu. What is the meaning? Krishna always protects. He will protect not. He will protect. Or in the future, no. Always protecting. But we are not realizing this. So must we have so much deep faith on Krishna that if any danger, problem, anything will come, will come, Krishna will surely... Why? How? Because he is powerful. Any powerful person cannot protect all if they are not Sarvagya. If they are sarvakya and powerful, even they cannot do, if they have no mercy. So Krishna is omnipotent, omniscient, almighty, almighty, omniscient and merciful, merciful, causeless mercy. Everything is there. So there is none parallel to Krishna in this way. He must be merciful and he will save us. Must he must. Why? Because by nature he is so. 
any can uh, anyone cannot see a many change of this this is his nature so but uh, we have no well, that we are doing so much things if you have so much strong faith then nothing to do so gurudev never tells that you should do like this what i am telling you should do according to your stage even the paragunat chaitanya mahaprabhu could not say because you know that they cannot follow according to their stage so gradually it will come this things will come a strongness will come by hearing from vaishnavas if anyone is chanting and remembering krishna whole day and night is anything is remain, uh, uh, remaining what i told what i told you know today i'm explaining asking the question that if one is surrendered to krishna and hearing and chanting and remembering the name om parvati and pastimes of krishna all day and night 24 hours 24 hours a day then does he have any responsibility in this world is yes. there anything have any Well, okay, remain in there or the middle. Why we should do this bogus? Uh, all these things. Why? Why we? Do? Because we have no faith. Why we are going to beg? <laughs> Why we are not being like Madhavendra Puri? Because we have no so strong faith. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mercifully came to this world to. You should know that Krishna. We can um, whether um, have so much strong faith or not, but he will not give up his nature. He will surely protect. And Gopitve Varan. What is the meaning of Gopitve Varan? Yeah. Maintainer. Maintainer. Narayan is maintainer also, but he will maintain like his power and ability. No, the uh, anyone who has taken shelter in the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Narayan cannot satisfy. Even Ram cannot satisfy. No, Dwarka this can satisfy. Can he will never. Mati, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can satisfy by giving so much high things. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can can give also that. Narayan can give the kinkri of Shrimati Radhika. Never. So how can he satisfy? But the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can this very easily. Like Rupa Swami can give, Bhakti Manohar Thakur can give, any can give. They are so merciful. So I have brought hmm? because I where I will go and I will I will meet to these persons. So I need my whole thousand and uncountable huh? all my associates. So whom he brought from there, hmm? all began to distribute all these things. Sir, now go. And these teachings. Otherwise, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling that alone, what I can do? Kothavilai. So he was so merciful to bring and requested them to come with. Even he he requested Krishna to Radhika, can you come with me? Oh, why not? But I don't want to give up this Bindavan. Oh, in one step we will be here, and in. Lakhs and lakhs of people will be in lakhs and lakhs world. No harm. Hmm? So he is how merciful he is. Hmm? You cannot imagine. Hmm? Gopi tuve varan. Then. So you should um, have so much faith that he will protect us, save, and he will nourish us. Support us by Golok Brindaban Prem also. Also, 
he will give us worldly uh, necessity like clothes, clothing, lodging, everything. If you will need, he will bring a glass of water, he will give. Himself he will come. And there are so many examples for this. But we have no so strong faith. And then, Atmanivedan. Dhanya Atmanivedan. What is Dhanya? If we have no then, then no need of Saranagati. And eighty percent becomes Saranagat to anyone. So why we should be Saranagat to anyone? Why, why not to Krishna? Huh? So Dhanya. Dhanya and Prem is both one thing. Dhanya means humbleness, humility, humility and Krishna Prem is same thing. Only two names. If anyone is not hu- humble, oh, he no prem at all. If no prem, no humbleness. No, never. Hmm? Radhika is having so much uh, uh, um, Mahabhava prem and he is more humble than a... He wants to be a grass, to be touched at with Krishna and thinking that, oh, this grass is so fortunate. fortunate. I cannot mm, touch with, well, touch with Krishna feet, but this is so. So try to follow all these things. Then you should no misunderstanding. Otherwise a misunderstanding may come that you can give up your Gurudev. Oh, no need of going because he has some what false ego and he has so many things. Hmm? If he is not coming to my home, why, why I should go to him? Oh, this should not come. Hmm? Always be humble with repentance. Hmm? That is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come. Now it is going to eat Gaur Pramanande. Try to learn all these things. If any misunderstanding comes, all solve in a moment. How it will be solved? Oh, be humble and you will see that. So, there will be no class there now. No but because all have come here. Yes, also, my Prabhu has come also. Uh, he is my Prabhu. <laughs> and all have come. Tomorrow, in evening, a class will be at his home. I was to stay to him house, but I will stay here, and then we will go about five. Five is okay. Five. Uh, we should, you should come to me at four and try to take the devotees there. All go. Some Sankirtan will be done. A class like this, there will be done. And then we will return to our abodes. Gaur Prama. If anyone misunderstanding, oh, take out very easily from. For the service of Guru and Vaishnava and Krishna. Uh. Jaya Radha Raman Hari Govind Jaya Jaya
मन हरि गोविंद जय जय राधार जय सृष्टि गुरु गौरांग गांधर विकागरी धारी श्री राधा विनोद बिहारी जीव की जय ओम विष्णु पाद परिव्रज गाचार जबर जस्टो भक्ति वेदांत श्रवन गोस्वामी महाराज की जय तदी आविर्भाव की पूजा की जय ओम विष्णु पाद परिव्रज गाचार जबर जस्टो भक्ति वेदांत श्री नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज की जय नित्य लीला प्रसंग विष्णु पाद श्री भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज की जय नित्य लीला प्रसंग विष्णु पाद श्री भक्ति प्रज्ञान के सब गोस्वामी महाराज की जय नित्य लीला प्रसंग विष्णु पाद श्री भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभु पाद की जय रूपान वचार्य गुरु वर्ग की जय अनंत वृंद की जय गंगा यमुना तुलसी भक्त वृंदा देवी की जय सर्वाभिष्ट गिरिराज गोवर्धन की जय भक्त बिन बिनाशन कर नृसिंह देव की जय भक्त राय प्रहलाद महाराज की जय अनंत वृंद की जय समेत गौर भक्त वृंद की जय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बोल Hare Krishna Hare Bol We want to invite everyone to come and take prasadam in uh, our house for good day is staying Yeah no not here mm. go there Everyone should go because we have cooked very wonderful feast actually Nanda Kishore Prabhu has been cooking all day For Sri Lanka Bhakti Vidhan Tapan Maharaj Abhi Bhav Mohsa He has cooked very ma- many wonderful things like rasgulla Ras Malai, uh, Kheer, nice cook. Uh, Krishna Das made the rice, so everyone must must come, must come. Our uh, jackfruit, so many. Please come, Hari Bol. हमारे हैं 
But why we are not feeling happiness? So, we should have a discussion about this thing. And in conclusion, in conclusion we see that we should try to discover a way really why or how we can be happy. And what is the need of doing bhajan? <laughs> Lalita has come. <laughs> Very good. You can come forward some. Uh, you can come. <clears throat> so we are discussing. Uh, we are equipped with so much facilities. Huh? facilities. And we are, we are making more and more facilities. We have made a, so much fas um, fashioned car, and that car becomes uh, to take our life. Cause of our death. We have made plans. And I heard that uh, day before yesterday a plane was crushed in Bangkok, near Bangkok. Thailand. In Thailand. And so many persons were killed. 
they were feeling so happy in traveling this hmm? we take fish eggs and so many things but do you feel that we are happy by this so you should very strongly and very gravely you should consider eh? consider consider how we can be really happy about four, five years ago krishna himself came in the form of chaitanya mahaprabhu and he told there so many things why we should worship krishna if we are happy here in this world having so many facilities in this world you can speak something about this how we can be happy and why we are not happy in this we are making so many rules and regulations that any anyone cannot come from other countries here easily by all these things that we should be happy so what is the need of doing by or in not so much persons are ओम ज्ञान थी मीरान दसिया ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन मिलित येन तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो श्री गुरुदेव इज पॉइंटिंग आउट टू अस the defective nature of this materialistic civilization which is garam lakshya why this material civilization cannot provide real happiness for everyone despite the great attempts of all the materialistic scientists who have applied their intelligence for centuries to improve the standard of living within this material world and have made so many inventions and so many facilities as gurudev was pointing out transportation communication all of these scientific advancements have been uh, developed simply so that the human beings can become more happy within this world but the fact of the matter is that no one has become more happy In fact we see the opposite happening. Anyone that has gone to visit places uh, in more third world type countries just like I've just come from the Philippines. And the Philippines is a kind of third world country where there are many individuals still living in the countryside, living a simple lifestyle, uh growing their own food, and also uh taking whatever nature is providing to build their homes etc this is the standard throughout most of the undeveloped world but if we see uh if we compare the lifestyle of the individuals living in a city like singapore to the individuals living in that so called uncivilized uh type of surrounding we see that the persons living in singapore are less happy despite the fact they have made so many arrangements why because they have to work so hard to keep up all of this lifestyle they have to spend so many hours today we were riding in one taxi with taxi driver and talking with him and we were asking him many times we were riding in taxis here in singapore and asking the taxi driver why uh you are working so hard oh i have to work very hard because otherwise my children will not be able to eat uh, my family cannot live i have to provide education for my children so how many hours you are working oh 12 hours every day i'm driving this taxi and how many days a week you are doing this oh 7 days a week acha so 7 days a week and in one year how many weeks you are working 
Oh, every week. So, then what is the value of all of this work? What is the use of working so very hard simply to get some kind of uh, gratification for the senses? Your whole human life is being spoiled. But those who are living in a so-called uncivilized condition, they're living very happily. They have so many hours of free time every day. They perform some work. They do not have to travel so much distance from their homes, living off the land nearby. So this was the standard of civilization for thousands and thousands of years. And now the whole world has become such that from one, to travel from one country to another, you are requiring to have the sanction of that country to enter into their borders, the visa. And they make it so very difficult. The, the whole world belongs to the creator of the world. Those who have taken birth within this world, they are uh, the children of God. They should be allowed to go anywhere in God's creation, but yet they have made so many borders. And my Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj used to say, that simply they have developed a barking dog department. Just like every man, uh, sometimes wealthy people, they keep behind their gate some very ferocious dogs. So that if anybody comes near, the dogs will bark fiercely and scare them away. So similarly they have so many departments to scare away people and giving so many obstructions and difficulties. But this has not created unity within human society. It has only created division. So, if human beings want to become happy, if they actually want satisfaction of life, then the only method by which they will be able to achieve this is if they devote themselves to the service of the Supreme Lord, because they are eternal parts and parcels of the Lord. So for this reason, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has descended within this world with all of his associates. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Jive Doya Kori Svaparshada Sviya Dhamma Saha Avatari He has come within this world, descended here. He is the most merciful personality. Like Gurudev was telling us last night, that if there is a very wealthy man, and he is noticing that a couple of uh, very low-class persons are arguing somewhere, bickering and quarreling and fighting, this very wealthy man, he will not be so concerned at all about them. He will not become involved in their difficulties, in their problems. So even on that level, even within this mundane plane, we see that such example is there, that a person of higher category will not bother himself to stoop down to the lower category. But yet, in the case of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is the Supreme Lord of all. And he has stooped down, he has not stooped, but he has descended down here within this world for the benefit of the lowest individuals within this Kali Yuga. And he has come to actually give them the very greatest thing, the very greatest wealth. So it is actually inconceivable, the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So if human society simply recognizes this fact, and they take seriously uh, and study the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and try to take it within their lives, then they can actually achieve happiness. Hare Krishna. Why? There are so many facilities. <clears throat> but we are not satisfied by that facility. Again we want more, again we want more. If you are poor, if you are now so much rich, again you want to be more rich. Only wealth will not satisfy you. Then gradually our requirements goes high and we are not satisfied. Why? We are not satisfied. If we are 
thinking that we are happy but with one uh, wife then we can have hundred and thousands of um, wives for her hmm? but will be satisfied if the ladies are feeling some happiness in one husband oh they can make thousand and lakhs of husband if they are happy in this but why not all we are satisfied what is the reason and how we can be satisfied so shila gurudev has ordered me to speak about the topic of the dissatisfaction of the people of this world in this connection there is an interesting story once there was a boy a very small boy and he was playing on the bank of a river and he saw something moving around in the water and thought oh this seems like a very joyful jolly fellow i'd like to make friends with him so he reached in and grabbed the fish he never seen a fish before and said okay my friend come home with me and we will play together so he returned to his home and took the fish into his room and put the fish down on the bed like this but then he saw that the fish didn't seem so happy huh? because he was flapping around and panting in great anxiety then the boy was thinking oh what to do maybe he's hungry so he went and got a nice drink but it didn't work so then he thought uh maybe he's I'll, i got him a drink maybe he wants something to eat so he went and bought him something to eat then he thought oh that doesn't work maybe he's too cold so he gave him a blanket but that didn't work maybe he's too hot so he was fanning him that didn't work mm -hmm. just then his mother came into the room and saw what he was doing and then she twisted his ear and gave him a slap hey what are you doing go and put that fish back in the water so then the boy he took the fish and carried the fish back to the river and as soon as he dropped him in the water then he was so happy moving here and there so in the same way we will have to understand our identity shila sanatan goswami inquired from shila sri chaitanya mahaprabhu kayami kenyamai jarita patraya ihana hi jani kemani hi tahai oh my lord who am i and why are the threefold miseries the miseries uh, coming on the platform of the body and mind the miseries uh, imposed upon me by other living entities and the miseries which arise from natural disturbances why are these always assailing me why am i always assaulted by various types of miseries if i don't know the answer to these questions how can there be any auspiciousness in my life mm -hmm. so the shri chaitanya mahaprabhu explained to sanatan goswami jivera swarupai krishna anitya das that it is a constitutional position of all living entities to be the servant of krishna mm -hmm. there are two substances the material substance and the spiritual substance everything in this material world is a manifestation of matter the material energy of the lord and all these material things they are temporary whereas the ourselves the soul we are the atma the jiva we are a spiritual substance transcendental eternal part and parcel of god but just like the fish cannot be happy with any situation when he's out of his natural environment the water so similarly the soul who is spiritual when he's in the material condition conditioned in this material world it doesn't matter whatever facility he has he will always be like the fish flapping 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 in anxiety oh help me help me help me always feeling some uh, insufficiency some deficiency always wanting something but whatever he tries to get he is never satisfied mm -hmm. J mainly he tries to find happiness by satisfying the senses mm -hmm. he has a lust to satisfy his senses but in bhagavad gita krishna has described avritam gyana me tena gyani no nichivarina kama rupena konte adushpurena anulena cha this lust to enjoy in the material world it covers our knowledge 
It covers our understanding of who am I. I am a spirit soul. But by lust, that knowledge is covered over. And another feature of this lust is that it is exactly like a fire. The lust is constantly burning us. I am not satisfied. I need this. I need this. I need this. And that feeling is burning our hearts again and again. But when we actually find the objects of our enjoyment, mm -hmm. when we actually are successful in our quest for sense gratification, then that sense gratification is actually like just like putting um, p uh, petrol or paraffin on the fire. If there's any fire burning, if you take a big bucket of paraffin and you throw it on the fire, the fire will go out for sure, for one second, and then the next second, <laughs> It will be cut, burned with three times as much intensity. So in the same way, we make a plan. I am feeling so deficient. I need to satisfy so many desires. And when we are successful in satisfying those desires, then we feel satisfaction for a moment. But then those desires, they flare up even more. Mm -hmm. And in this way, we try to get money, but we want more money. We get any nice wife, but we want a nicer wife. We get a nice house, we want a better house. And on and on and on, mm -hmm. in a very bewildered condition, lost to our real identity. So, in this way, all the jivas, they are burning. Uh, they, it is as if they are burning in a fire, suffering from lust, anger, greed, illusion, madness, and enviousness, and the miseries of birth, old age, disease, and death. Even if we're successful in every respect in this life, then death comes and old age comes and cruelly takes away everything. So there is no satisfaction on the platform, on the material platform in this world, trying to find satisfaction through sense enjoyment. So what will be the remedy? What will be the remedy to our situation? So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he described to Srila Sanatan Goswami, Krishna Bhuli Sejiv Anadir Bahi Mukha Atayeva Maya Taridya Sangsara Dukha That the cause of our suffering, uh, the cause, the reason why Maya is inflicting so many miseries upon us is because we have forgotten Krishna. Hmm? This is actually the cause of all of our suffering. So if we want to make a plan, if we want to adopt a program, whereby all of our problems will be solved simultaneously, mm -hmm. whereby all of the sufferings of this world will go away, and whereby the actual necessity of our heart, the true desire of our heart will be satisfied. Both things will be fully, both requirements will be fully met simply by engaging in bhajan, by worshipping Shri Shri Radha Krishna. Mm -hmm. How is that? Because even, uh, let us say, if you were successful in obtaining all of your sense objects mm -hmm. and at the same time you did not have to die, mm -hmm. then still you would not be happy. Why? Because the soul, the true hunger and thirst of the soul is for affection. It is for love. And there is no one in this world who is so uh, unlimitedly perfect and capable to reciprocate with us in loving dealings. Mm -hmm. No one has the power to do that. No one is actually the true object of our affection, but the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna. So whenever we place our love and affection in any object of this world, we are always disappointed. We will always be dissatisfied. But when we offer all of our love and affection and all of our service at the lotus feet of Shishi Radha Krishna Yuga, mm -hmm. then at that time we will find that our uh, desire to exchange love and to render service mm -hmm. will be fully fulfilled. Savaipam sam pro dharmo yato bhakti adoksaje ahoyta kya pratiyata yayatma suprasiddhati. How will the atma become suprasiddhati? How will the atma be satisfied? The conclusion is given in Srimad Bhagavatam. Savai Pungsam Pro Dharmo. The topmost occupation for all living entities is Yato Bhakti Adhoksajay. 
those activities whereby the pure bhakti, pure devotion is aroused within the heart for who? Adhoksach, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Mm -hmm. What are those activities? Ahoituki apratiyata. It means that service which is rendered constantly without any expectation in return. The unconditional, pure, unalloyed and uninterrupted flow of affection towards the Supreme Lord is the only thing that can actually satisfy our hearts. So by chanting Harinam and so under the guidance of bona fide Guru and Vaishnavas, then our, we can become situated once again in our constitutional position. Not once again, Jiva was not from that place. But we can become situated in our constitutional position of loving service to the Lord. So, uh, simultaneously, Maya will uh, release us from the bondage of this material world and at the same time, we will drown in the ocean of love and affection for Shishi Radha Krishna Yuga simply by this process of chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare under the guidance of bona fide Guru and Vaishnavas who will teach us how to chant Hari Nam according to the process prescribed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Vancha Kaputur Vistra Kripas Indu Vichar Pititanam Papni Do Vaishnav Vibhyo Om Srimad Bhagavat we know that there was a king who was, who was unlimited, who has unlimited wealth. He has so many very beautiful and qualified so many wives. It has told in Srimad Bhagavatam more than one lakhs of wives were there. Unlimited well, very powerful commanders, very intelligent prime ministers, so many Purohits, priests, big army, very strong big army he had. And he was, he, he has everything what a man can, have. but he was not happy. Hmm? What he did for this and what became, what is written in Srimad Bhagavat, you can explain. And <coughs> Praketu Maharaj. Chitriketu. King Chitriketu. Yeah. So, uh, like he, this? Uh, yeah. he had everything in life, but he, his wives were all barren. He couldn't have a son. So uh, one day, Angira Muni and Narad Muni came to his... Uh, no, Malli, Angira. Uh, only Angira. So Angira came and uh, he inquired what from... What kind of Rishi he was, Angira? What qualities he had? He had great mystic power. He could bestow a boon and that boon would manifest. And he could also he see... Very high class of Krishna devotee. So many majestic powers. He was Sarbhagya. Sarbhagya, you know? He could see past, present and future. Yes. And he was so powerful to change the time, the tide of time. He was so much powerful, having all these qualities. But only what? For covering his body? Only one cloth. Loin cloth. Huh? Loin cloth. Uh, door, door or coffin. 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 Nothing. No water pot. No mosquito net. No wristwatch. Nothing. If he wanted, he can travel whole world in a minute. No need of taking the help of aeroplane or anything. Visa and, and passport. He was above all. So, so qualified was Angira. What is meaning of Angira? Eh? Or nobody like this. It means transcendental body. 
एंड हिज वर्ड्स में गिरा नॉट वर्ल्डी माउंटेन वर्ड्स इफ यू विल टेल एनी थिंग इट विल हैपन एट वंस सो हैविंग ऑल द क्वालिटीज अंग्रियावास सेल्फ सेटिस्फाइड एंड ही कैम मर्सीफुली टू किंग हैज एनी रिक्वायरमेंट टू कम टू दैट किंग दैट किंग विल प्रोवाइड हिम एंड ही हैज कम टू वे वी हैव कम हियर टू वेक समथिंग इट मे बी बट वी वॉन्ट दैट यू शुड नॉट बेक वी शुड गिव एनी थिंग टू यू यू कैन गिव नथिंग टू मी वॉट यू कैन गिव यू आर वट नॉट सेटिस्फाइड इन दिस थिंग यू वॉन्ट मोर मोर एंड मोर यू आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड बाई दिस सैलरी यू आर रिसीविंग फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट और any department in any way then how you can give me anything what i want so angira was more 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 higher than me not only one time but lakhs and lakhs time and he was realize so so he had not come to take anything donation from king some rupees or anything some cows he can create cows so many cows he can create wealth he can create anything he wants no so he can and he was talking with maharaj what go so i give you money kai man he the, you can come yes there is so, place so then they were speaking and uh, he saw that the king was not happy there is place here you can see he saw the king was not happy and he inquired from the king Why are you happy? You have everything. You have so many wives. You have so much wealth. You're such a powerful king and big armies. You're so young, and all your wives are young. Why aren't you happy? He said, "Although I have so many wives, they are all barren. I don't have a son. So this is the reason for my lamentation." So uh, he he requested Angira, "If I could have a son, then I surely I will be happy." It's like in the material world, people think, "If I just get this thing." I'll be happy. If I just get 1 million, I'll be happy. Then I get 1 million. If I get 2 million, then I'll be happy. If I get two wives, then I'll be more happy. But that day never comes when someone's happy. They're always cheated. It's like in the material world, people are defeated in three ways. They want something, but they just can't get it. They wanted that thing, that beautiful girl, that the big building or that big job, but they couldn't get it. They're disappointed. And then they get the thing that they wanted. but then they lose it or they get that thing that they wanted but they I find out attentively don't talk that when they get the thing that they always decided what name oh yes so try to listen at all things don't talk then they lose that thing we we decide to get that thing you get it and then you lose it so and giramuni he could tell the future so he told the king that you can have a son but this son will be some lamentation and also some jubilation no 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 only that some just lamentation you have not done any past thing that you will have a son never you will have seven birth had no son so then all that but you are powerful to give any son you can give <coughs> so he told him that if you have a son then it will give you some lamentation so the king thought well oh. i'll have a son so I should expect something. Oh yes. Oh, there is. Then Angira saw that he has no son at all because he has not done any good thing. Thing that he will have son. So eight lakhs and lakhs very beautiful girls will come. in his home and he will be married even not hmm? but king was telling repeatedly that you are so much powerful i know that your words will give me son so please give me a son he told angira rishi a son cannot give you happiness 
and peace of mind. I know. Try to do bhajan of Krishna. Then you they may be happy. Prabhu, I will do bhajan. But first let me have his son. How? If I have no nothing that you will have son, how it can be? Or you must give. Then he thought that I should be his son, like this. Because he has no son in his life. So he told that I am giving something, the uh, remnant of jagya, something, and give it to your dearest wife, beautiful wife, who is supreme among all. And then he quickly went away from there, that he will not do bhajan. He should be given any lesson that what is this world. So what he did, it is not written in Bhagavatam, Bhagavata, but he was so powerful that he can come in his Atma, by his Atma, to any other body, like more than lakh lakh sankra charge you are so qualified. So he went anywhere and kept his body and went in the home of his new beautiful wife named Kana. Namna Kriti Duty. Kriti Duty. The name. And she was pregnant now. But really that sage was there because by his previous activities he has no son, so he can only to give a lesson to him and teach him. He has told that king that I am giving you son, but the son will give you happiness and also sorrow, that's both he will give. No? He thought that it might be that when he will grow up and he will be young, he will not hear my uh, orders and he will be disobedient. So, no harm. If he will be young and then I will be old, then I will give up everything to him and I will go to forest and I will chant, remember, nothing to do with him. But if I have no son, then after my death, who will control all these things? Wealth, all the armies, all my wives, who will control? And Indian culture, Vedic culture, there is a thing that after death of father, his son gives him some shabdha. Shabdha means some activities is there. By doing so, his father becomes out of all sufferings. If there is no son, then who will de do these activities? That he will come out of sufferings. Any man doing, um, uh, after death, he goes to Narak, hell. Why? Because we do all bad activities in this world. Hmm? Very little, some good activities. Hmm? Because unwillingly we murder so many worms and so many things. Hmm? In this world you are seeing that all are taking place, eggs, what they are doing. They are doing so many things that they must be punished and they will go to hell. So it has been taken in Indian cultures, the Vedas, that those who will be die, hmm? accepting some rare cases, all will go to hell. So those who takes off his father and all generations hmm? by his activities and offers some to their 
Mm-hmm. Four fathers. Four fathers. They will come out of hell and they will be happy. They will go to heaven. For this idea, a son, a qualified son, obedient son, give, come, make some offerings like, and it is called sraddha. Huh? What in English? Perhaps no word. They gave some thing, sacrificial things, hmm? and it is necessary. <coughs> if anyone raise a question, if there is a father on the seventh floor of this building, and son is in first, huh? Can he offer there and it will reach there? Hmm? So how? It is said in our Indian scriptures that if a son will give something and it will reach to dead father whose soul is here and there. How it can be? Hmm? It can be. How? If a man is on the eleventh story or floor, and man is so down first, and he is abusing of his mother, his father, how it reaches there? Understand? By sound it is wrong. How does he come to know that he is being abused? How does he come to understand that someone is abusing his mother and father? He is in lower, and he is Anyone is there and he is abusing so much regarding his mother, his sisters and so many. And he becomes furious and becomes angry. And then he comes down and tries to shoot down. Why? Hmm? Oh, there is some reason. In the Indian scriptures it has been told that any sound is uttered by the waves of winds, it can go to the last end of this world, anywhere. And that is what nowadays television, te- radio, te- radio, television, this. Hmm? If there is anything like food stuff. Hmm. Food stuff will not go. But the essence of the juice of this food stuff and the essence of that all is the love and affection. And if it is given by mantra, mantra is so powerful that it will take it to anywhere his parents are died or anywhere there. Very powerful. So Sardi is in India is done and it is so helpful for <coughs> the persons though who have who are suffering in this world. <coughs> if a world can go here and there everywhere in the world, why this month sound can it go and satisfy? Hmm? If anyone is so hungry and he has come, he is thirsty also. He is so poor. But if he comes to me and I ask, if I tell him very sweet words, by his sweet words he can be satisfied. If there is no sweet word and you are giving so much things like Duryodhan gave to come, um, Krishna, he would not say you did not take anything. So sound is so strong. strong. Or Agastarishi tried so much to satisfy king that he used to do bhajan. Hmm? But he was telling that who will do my shraddha and how I will come out of hell, hell or other suffering. So I want a son. Those who are unlucky, unfortunate, only they have no son. But 
in other word he was telling angira rishi oh this is not the proper process process to be had why one son lack lack son will not make you satisfy they will make so many problems for you but he was so much determined that you should give a son then he gave acha you should take a son but you will be also feeling happiness and also sharo also he came in the womb of his wife kata duty and after 9 months he came out of home so beautiful marvelous and day and day he was growing so beautiful like moon every day no? from amasya amasya means new moon. full new moon as daily increases and on purnima on the full moon it becomes so beautiful so this child this baby was so beautiful now king was totally absorbed in he used to be always with his wife and with his son he avoided all his other ones and he told the commander that you should take care of my kingdom. whole kingdom he told his priest that you should do sacrifices and everything hmm? he opened his khajana treasure that every cent we given to donation to brahmins and all others but he was not taking any test in controlling his kingdom, kingdom or how his wife sar or how others sar only he was day and night with his wife and with that child when he became of five years oh so beautiful all the inhabitants of his kingdom all were so happy that my king has a son and all are happy king was also but the wives of king were so much unhappy why because king used to neglect them they thought that even there are so many sweepers sweepers and all other maid servants their supply